Let's go, Nev. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling. We need to push it. Right. Together. Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. You have no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it.
So all I had to do to get away from you is wake up. And how much experience do you have willing yourself from sleep to wakefulness? Can't be that hard. While you practice, perhaps you would like to hear about the consequences of your actions. Meaning? The Evanurus. Or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped, and the Blighted Elven Gods walk free. Right, you were innocently doing nothing when we came along. The prison in which I had trapped them had begun to crumble. I was moving them to another. So you weren't tearing down the veil and drowning the world in demons and wild magic. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway. And now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. Really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the elven god of, and I am quoting you here, lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending on the story. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? Need to listen. No! No! I have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus, but of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Harding got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. Before you start worrying, Nev will be fine. She's apparently a lot tougher than both of us put together. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a dark spawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. 
It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade. Because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. You're awake, and we're... In the Fade. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow, I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little? We might be here a while. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here, wherever here is, besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When?
Sorry. It was while I was unconscious. Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're alright. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic? Like any normal mage would to play with your mind? But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. He nearly brought down the veil, Nev. Can you do that? You know it's not that simple. He may not be a prayers and blessings kind of god, but he's a lot more than just a mage. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. 